On the next stage, a woman can start showing him her, her signs of care, but not during these first two stages. And so a man should put all of this effort into the relationship. Some psychologists would even say 99% effort. I say 90%. He's driving, um, he's opening the door, he's texting her, and he's figuring out where to take you to the restaurant. And that's why he's asking you, what kind of food do you like? What kind of flowers do you like? And etc. You are teaching him basically how to be a gentleman by not giving him a cherry. And he's trying to figure out why you're not giving it to him. Sarah was asking, uh -huh. oh, what's the, is this still the uncertainty stage? All of this is still the uncertainty name? stage. Most of the women make mistakes in the first or second stages. 90% of the people don't get to the next stage, which is all exclusive. They are just dating each other. And that's why I want to cover as much as possible because most of the time women either have early sex or during uncertainty start bombarding a man with text and calls and then sleep with him because she's afraid that he might disappear. And that's why I want to stay a little bit longer in this stage. Again, during this stage, if a woman puts a lot of time and effort and energy uh, pleasing a man texting a man calling a man a man will get an idea that this woman is desperate and even aggressive so the formula for the stage the more you're passive the more it will create an interest in a man no you should respond to his text you should answer his phone call but you're not eager to call him. You're not eager to text him. You're not bombarding him with texts and phone calls and asking him, by the way, I'm available tomorrow or this Saturday. Where, where are you taking me out? We're not doing that. During the stage, if a woman says, my tires are flat uh, and I don't know how to pay for my rent or something like that, a man will definitely think that you are using him and he might help you with tires. He might help you with rent, but what would he want in return? Sex? Yes. <laughs> Intimacy? Yes. And 90% of a woman, if she expects expensive gifts like tires, uh, uh, iPhone, or a Louis Vuitton, or paying for rent, she will give it to him. And then she thinks we're now really in a relationship. But in his mind, what is he thinking? Like it was an even exchange? Yes. Yes. Did he develop his emotions and feelings for you? No. 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 He thinks, oh, finally, she had a problem. I fixed it. So now I got what I wanted. He got his intimacy. And you are not moving into the relationship all exclusive, meaning you're dating him and he's dating you. It's not going to happen. He's not going to even want to move further. Because at this point, he got what he wanted. So that's why we're not expecting and we're not accepting any financial things more than $50. Like, yeah, he's taking you to a restaurant, $50 or $100, because when a man is taking you to a restaurant, he's showing you off. He feels really good. But otherwise, we're not accepting any expensive gifts. And please remember, the more man will invest into you, the more he will value you and you want him to invest the time, energy, and money into you without you asking for him because he feels wonderful when he's taking you out and you're smiling and you're happy. You're enjoying what he's doing. He's showing all of this to show how amazing he is. And you have to know, a woman experiences love. When a man tells you, I love you, you're beautiful, you feel loved. How do you think man experiences love? Intimacy? <laughs> no. Because on the third stage, when he's going to start developing emotions and feelings for you, he would want to experience love from you. But for him, love, when you tell him, I love you, you're, yeah, I love you, I love you. Do you think he feels love? Maybe no. your actions. So like doing stuff for him, like showing you care. No. Like maybe like, no? No, not even close. <laughs> when he, I guess when he feels responsible for you in a way no this is you're talking what he does but what what can you do for him to feel that you love him you see how much we're judging men based on ourselves you don't even know how men experience love so how man experiences love from a woman uh i guess gratitude when you tell him how like grateful you are yes for 
and yes ladies you have to please remember this is very very important man experiences love through admiration you gotta admire him when you say wow you're so amazing thank you for taking me to this amazing restaurant the food was so great he feels loved he feels love that he cooked this for you almost, that he built this restaurant, that he drove you here. He feels love through this admiration, acknowledgement, you're acknowledging him and you making him feel like you're proud of him, that he drove you to the other side of town. He picked you up, he opened the door and you feel proud. He's like, I feel proud walking with you. You're such a noble man. He feels like a king, like Napoleon. Do you understand? That's how men experience love. Not through, I love you. This is different. This is us. I love you. Here's flowers. You're beautiful. No, men don't experience love like that. You gotta do this three. Admiration, acknowledgement, and making him feel proud. If you don't do this three, men will not feel motivated. Why he needs to open the door for you? Why he needs to pick you up? Why he needs to take you to the restaurant, pay for the concert and movies? If you don't do this three, he doesn't feel loved. Right? I have a question with that though. Yes, yes. Because like I was speaking to one of my friends and I was saying like this guy met how he was so kind and stuff. And she goes, yeah, but that's just like what guys are supposed to do. Like that's just men being gentlemen but uh, sarah you have to understand if a man opens the door for you if a man takes you to a restaurant if a man uh, drives you to a concert the one the one that you like if a man helps you with kids and taking the stroller upstairs to your home he does all of this and you are not acknowledging him in his mind he will think you're just ungrateful why should he do that why should he do that he will either expect sex from you to thank him, or he would want admiration, uh, acknowledgement, and for him to feel proud that he does it for you because you are activating him feeling as a man, as a masculine man. He's born to provide, protect, and lead, to open the door, to pay for the restaurant. But if we're not appreciating that and taking it for granted, like men are supposed to do that. By the way, most of the masculine women are mad and angry with men because they think that they should do this. But why would they do this if they don't feel appreciated, acknowledged, admired? Why? And only a feminine woman knows how to acknowledge, admire her man, make him feel proud because a man wants to feel amazing that he is this masculine man, that he does all this for you, but he wants something in return. And is it that difficult to admire and acknowledge and make them feel proud? Is it that we're that greedy? We cannot do that. I, I love that you shared that by the way, because I did struggle with that for a long time and I, it was a pride issue for me mm -hmm. and, yeah. and pride is not like, it's a, it's a known friend of mine that I keep running into and then being like, Samantha, do you want to be in a happy relationship as a feminine woman? Or do you want to be that prideful man? Like, yes. step down. Yes, exactly. Step down. Because we're slightly a little bit behind our man. They're moving like bulldozer forward. But they're doing it for us. And everything inside of that triangle is us. Our energy, our appreciation, our acknowledgement. I want you to think of it this way. We want for our man to tell us, I love you. You're beautiful. You're queen. What can I do to make you happy? We want that. But men also think because he goes to work and he pays for bills, why should he tell you that he loves you? It's a common sense. So that's where a man doesn't understand a woman's nature that even though he goes to work and even though he pays for bills it's still his duty to say i love you beautiful how was your day how are you my queen they have to do that and it's also our duty to understand them and even though they go to work and pay bills we have to acknowledge them we have to appreciate them and if they don't do that they are not motivated to do more. The only difference between a woman who doesn't get anything from her man and a woman who gets everything from her man, she understands a man. 
And men are not complicated as we are. They're really not. They want to be respected, acknowledged, appreciated, and feel proud. And it's our duty to be a feminine woman to do that. And when we do that, they buy you flowers, they open the door, they take you to a restaurant, they pay for mortgage, they pay for insurance, they take you to vacation, and they want to do anything for you. Because you make them feel like men.